Um, yeah, well, I think one of the first things I want to try and do now that I've got it here is I want to take the sprayer off. Um, now, now that I found that small adjustable span of right somehow or another lost, um, I better use that to try and get the, um, what do you call it? Get these U-bolt, not U-bolt, the shackles back off. Because, um, Man. Now, where is the hammer on? I'm going to have to put my camera back in my mouth again now because I need two hands. Now, I don't think that's going to um, gonna work. I'll have to charge my camera up, actually, but... No, I don't think that will work. Um, and the other one's not much better, isn't it? I might have to get a torch out. Okay then, so it's the next day. And I've gotten some bolt cutters. So I'm going to be able to uh, cut. Uh, cut the shackles because they're just too rusty together and I'm not allowed to it was uh, the only good torch that we've got here and there aren't any uh, gas bottles for the other one so um, I'm gonna have to do with trying to get them off and even if I would get them opened apart uh, as they should be I don't think I'd actually be able to use them again or anything, so I might as well try and cut them uh, along the pin or wherever I can, really. Um, no, and I haven't got a tripod on me because it, uh, we call it broken the one where I fixed for him, and he won't let me, it was any of the mounts anyway. Um hopefully if I put it like that you can just about see and I flip the picture around or something. I know. Yeah. These bolt sketches are quite stiff though and they don't quite open up enough, I don't think. That is quite problematic. Okay. okay, so they're, they're open right there, so now I need to try and get them on that bolt there, there you go, and chuck them. Unfortunately they're very stiff and the handles are bending too easily. Alright, you can see right there. I don't think it's going to come off. Okay, I haven't got a Dremel or anything to cut it and the hacksaw won't go that, that far in. I haven't got any reciprocating saws and the jigsaw is too, too big. You know, like, in all wrong ways. So... Hmm... thing is, is, is the bolt cutter, if the bolt cutter wasn't stiff, I'd maybe be able to cut that. Um, I'm kind of thinking I might try and just get this, these pins out and see if I can cheat it into working. 
I'm not sure, but I think maybe I could just pull the, uh, this piece here off. Um, uh, the pad here off and see if I could take it off that way. Thing is, is if I can't uh, turn the engine over and get it started, I can't lift and lower the links. So that chain there right now is basically too uh, too tight. So I can't get the stabilizer pin out. Uh, well, or really do anything else. Um, best thing I can think of right now is just lift the sprayer up with a jack. I think this part here should just about be strong enough to lift it. So we'll see. There's a jack somewhere over here right now, I think. Just over the I don't know why we're on slightly forward today. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Get the sledgehammer all the way. Uh, right over there. Uh, it's not really a good idea to jack it up right here, but. I haven't really got any better ways to do it, and I'm like, I would try and um, uh, bump start it, but I, I can't really do that. So yeah. That's not really going to go up in the top. Uh, so that's all nice and slack now. Not really this one, but it's very good. Um, that's much slacker than it was again. Um, let me see if I can get this sledge on and just knock it right there. Moving a bit, but not very thin because it's quite tight and it's rusted a bit. Okay, well, as I was saying, then I'm having trouble to untension this one here. So I'll have to put the jack either under the piece here or somewhere over there. Okay, then, so right now I'm just trying to uh, use this ratchet strap to push the tank over enough so that this. Piece here goes slack too because the other piece is, but this chain isn't. Oh, and there's a good chance for the last piece of video that I just filmed hasn't saved because my camera just dropped and the battery fell out. But just as a recap, I've gotten one uh, one of the bottom drawers out, drawers out, and I'm in the middle of doing the other one, but it's shaking too much, so I'm making this this little strap here pull the the tank over so that it doesn't uh, doesn't move about quite as much, and I'm trying to think. Okay.
very good, but I can't. I can't help it. I'm getting a bit annoyed now. Um, because the problem is, is I carry on doing these things, and they just carry on getting harder to do. Oh come on! Good enough. So, uh, and my battery is going flat. So that doesn't really help. So, right now I'm going to try maybe like that. You probably can't see anything that I'm doing, but I haven't got any way better to put the camera, so it's just how it's going to be. Okay, so after a bunch of hitting my leg and making me very, very mad and sore, I finally got it off. Ah well. Okay, so next I've just got to cut the thing off so that it's not right behind it and not too much in the way. I kind of, I'm not too bad to keep it in this area. I might just pull it over with the ratchet strap and just get it out of the way somewhat because I can't be bothered to actually move it down to the shed or anything because I can't lift it as such but uh, I just gotta move it however I can um, like that okay. Oh. okay and now I'm doing a rubbish job of filming okay Okay, well, you should be able to see it's okay to see it. It's, it's really nice to get the sprayer off, you know, totally. But it's not very nice to see it. Okay, so the plan is, is that when I get help, I'll, I'll put the sprayer on the pallet and put all the parts I know where they are on it and then when, when the tractor will be here next, uh, the McCormick or whatever, um, we'll just move it somewhere a bit more practical, but for now I think it will go about here somewhere. Um, because it's not too far in the way or anything like that, and it it should work like that. Um, I'll just get some of this stuff out of the way. Sorry, I can't really. If I just put the camera back over here again, so see most of everything. 